everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. And I'm Cass, one of the nurse practitioners at Titan Medical Center as well. Today we're going to talk to you about one of our newer weight loss therapies called Prometheus. This is a capsule that you can take to help with losing weight, curbing your appetite, and helping with energy levels. Yep, and it's a good oral option for those of you who do not like doing the injections or just want an alternative route of administration. And this capsule can be taken once daily. It has metformin in it. Metformin can help control your appetite. It can help your body process sugar more effectively. And it also is going to have in there Wellbutrin, which has been shown to help with appetite cravings. And don't forget B12. B12, essential for increasing your metabolism, helping giving you natural energy. So if you're interested in the Prometheus capsule, give us a call, 727-389-3220. Now it's time for you to fill out your new patient paperwork. So I want to go over some common questions or even some concerns on the new patient paperwork that some people are brought up. Hopefully this will help you guys fill out the new patient paperwork with ease and you guys can submit it and be on your way to be a Titan Medical Center patient. Let's go over some of these common issues or problems that are happening. First thing is, every line needs to be filled in on the new patient paperwork. When you go to each line, it will have a blank area where you can fill something in. You're going to want to fill something in on every line, but there might be some things that do not pertain to you. If they don't pertain to you, just put NA on there and we'll know exactly what you're talking about when the new patient paperwork comes in. This is probably the most common problem with people filling out the new patient paperwork. They leave one blank space and then they can't submit the new patient paperwork. The reason that we have it like this is because we need to make sure that you fill out all the areas necessary for us to give you the best type medical center customer or patient experience. After that, you filled out all the blanks, family history, health history, symptoms, and all of the pages. At the end, you're gonna to wanna to just press submit. Usually, if there's no problems or all the fields are filled in, it's going to submit with ease and Titan Medical Center should receive it on our end and be giving you a phone call or contacting you about helping you guys out with therapies or services. If you're going to use an Apple product like an iPhone or an iPad, you don't need a Skype username. If you've submitted the new patient paperwork and you have not got a call or a text from Titan Medical Center, please call us or text us and make sure that we did in fact receive your new patient paperwork. We would hate for you to go through this process of filling out the new patient paperwork and for you not to be able to get serviced or get our therapies that you guys want. So please contact us just to make sure if you have not received a phone call or a text message. I hope this has helped and we look forward to having you part of the Titan Medical Center family. Have you been feeling off lately, wishing you had more energy? Does it feel like your normal healthcare provider doesn't listen to you? At Titan Medical Center, we will listen to you. Our caring team of healthcare professionals are here to ensure that you have a positive experience while customizing an individual care plan that will fit your specific needs and optimizing your overall health. Call us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about some of the different ways that you can save money by being healthy. Saving money and being healthy go together like peanut butter and jelly. Let's talk about some of the different ways that you can save some money by being healthy. First, life insurance. As you get older, you're probably going to get life insurance to take care of your loved ones or anybody else if you possibly go bye-bye, okay? And it's going to happen to us. We know we live and we die. It's going to happen to all of us and we don't know when we're gonna go. If we knew that, we'd probably set some other different things up and we probably wouldn't go that fast, right? And we all don't have a crystal ball that says, you're gonna die on such and such date in this way. So at that point, being healthy is going to lower your life insurance costs or premiums. The healthier you are, they're not gonna charge you as much because they're gonna have all your different pre-existing conditions, they're gonna run different blood tests on you, urine tests, and they're gonna see exactly what's going on with your medical history. The older you are and the more medical problems you have, your life insurance is probably gonna be more money. So you wanna probably get this at a younger age and at the healthiest point in your life. If you're not healthy, listen, get it anyway, all right? Just to cover yourself or try to get healthy before you do get it. 
The second thing, your medical insurance. Medical insurance can be very expensive these days and the less medical problems you do have, even though they cover people with pre-existing conditions now, they look at these pre-existing conditions and at that point, if you have a lot of them, right, they're probably gonna charge you more of a higher deductible and more for that medical insurance. And think about it, if you're unhealthy, you're probably gonna go to the doctor more, you're gonna go to the hospital more and have more medical problems, which is gonna cost you a lot more money, not just for the visits to the hospital or ER or wherever you're going, but you're gonna have to pay for prescription drugs. Even if you got a great medical insurance plan, you're still gonna to have to pay for some co-pays, okay? And this is gonna start coming out of there, especially with medical insurance. They usually make you pay for the deductible right off the bat, depending on what your plan you have. And there's all different plans out there. So search to the best of your ability and ask somebody that really does know about this to help you out. Next thing, being healthier, right, is going to make you miss less days at work. It's gonna make you be more productive. So at that point, you're not gonna lose out on money that you'd probably get if you had to call off from work. And the other thing about it is if you're more productive, this is probably gonna be picked up by management or your supervisor or somebody that's overlooking and say, listen, this person's really, really productive. Let's give him a raise. Let's give him a promotion. And at that point, you're making more money, okay? And this is the other thing. Eating good is going to make you more healthier. Exercising and being active is going to make you more healthier. Sleeping the proper hours at night is going to help you be more healthier, all right? And as we age, right, and as we progress in life, we're gonna have different things It is going to start declining in our body. And this could be some of the different things. It could be from genetic, it could be from your hormones, it could be from a number of different things. And these things might start taking you down the line where you're not feeling as good. And at that point, you're not optimally healthy. That's where Type Medical Center can really help you out with this. We can help boost your immune function with a number of our different therapies for immune boosting. We can help with hormones. We can help with blood testing, medical weight loss. Think about this. A number of our population, over 50%, is obese or overweight. This is horrible because we know that people that are obese and overweight are having other different existing medical conditions. High blood pressure, diabetes type two, um, more stress on their organs like cardiovascular, their health, their, their heart, right? So at that point, you wanna make sure that you're losing the weight. So if you do have the excess weight, you wanna put a plan together to get yourself healthy. At that point, Titan Medical Center has a number of different medical weight loss options that can help you get there. And as you lose the weight, you're gonna feel better about yourself, building confidence and building your health at the exact same time. So that little bit of money that you're putting forth to get therapies or blood work and such, you might think, listen, this is a cost to me. But in the long run, it's going to save you more money, right? Because you're not having to go to the hospital as much or see doctors as much, take these other medications that can cause other negative side effects to you. You also may be more productive at your job. And at that point, that's gonna be seen and you could possibly get a raise, promotion, which is going to increase your bottom line of money. So guys, be healthy and get more money. It goes together, right together. You're gonna feel better if you're healthier, you're gonna be able to do a better job, which will ultimately produce more money for you guys. You won't be sick in a hospital bed, right? Or having to go take a whole bunch of medications possibly. This is going to save you money and you're gonna feel better. So at that point, if you guys want help, get healthy so you can save yourself more money, then you guys need to call or contact us today at 727-389-3220. Guys, check out the website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com and see about all our different therapies. And if you have questions, just contact us and we'll run through everything for you guys. I appreciate you guys. I want you to thrive and make more money and be the healthiest you possibly can. Hey, my name's Matt Wolf. I've been with Titan for about a year and a half now. I started about 325, 315. I just did the scale the other day and I'm now 268 with only a progress of uh, a year and a half. So, you feel good, feels great doing this. I just got an IV drip done. So, they said it's gonna give me a lot of energy. So, I have to tell you all about that. 
I like the Titan Complete, it works pretty good. The glutathione, because I travel the world, you know, you all got the coronavirus now, you got everything else, and who knows what's breathing on you with that recycled air, the airplanes, man, so I take the glutathione. If it's worked for me, it'll work for you, because people who've known me in my past, didn't want to really do nothing, and the stuff I did was bad, all the creative teas, the pro workout, and uh, this you don't have to worry about the powders and killing your kidneys. If you like doing shots, this is for you. If you have a problem, they do have pills, but they do have people that can help you take these shots. So in all, it's a good experience. Uh, the service here is great. Uh, I was telling uh, Art that you know, they treat you like family, you don't feel like a number. Even when they call you and text you the messages, it feels like you know, you're know you part of the family. So I'm happy. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I want to talk to you about one of our newest weight loss therapies, Aries. That's right, Aries consists of semi-glutide, chromium, and B12. It's going to be great for weight loss, but it has a number of other health benefits along with it. When we talk about this, we talk about sugar levels. There's a number of our population that is dealing with being pre-diabetic or that has diabetes type 2. We also have a big population that is overweight and obese, and they just don't know what to do or where to turn. When we bring these things up, we also bring up insulin resistance. There's a number of people out there because that's the hot word, insulin resistance, and they don't know what to do to get over insulin resistance or to get past it. This is where Aries is really gonna help you out. Now, when we talk about this, we talk about one of the main ingredients in Aries, and that's semaglutide. So semi-glutide is FDA approved and it's going to help in a number of different ways with weight loss and helping lower sugar levels to a healthy range. We also put our own little spin on it with B12 and chromium. These things are going to complement the semi-glutide with helping boosting natural energy, helping boost the metabolism, nervous system, and many more things. So if you're ready to take that war and fight that fat, then get our new Aries therapy. The God of War will be right on your side and make sure that you are triumphant with winning that war against weight loss. All right, guys, if you want to know more about Aries and how to obtain it, please call or text us at 727-389-3220 or check out the website www.tightmedicalcenter.com. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, 
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. And that's right, it's Christmas edition. Christmas? Or holiday edition. Happy it's, holidays, Christmas edition. Uh, for me, it's Christmas. Whatever you celebrate, it's yeah. your edition for the holidays. Merry, 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 merry day. Merry, merry holiday to you. <laughs> <laughs> So, listen, we're back with another great episode, and if you guys are just tuning in for the first time, we are doing things for you guys to help you guys out with your relationship, give you guys good tips, tricks, and things that will help improve your life and quality of your relationship, hopefully. Yep. And these are things that me and Sharice have picked up over the years, or we've seen or picked up from some of our friends or in other relationships that we've seen, and we said, you know what, this is some information we're going to learn from and hopefully pass this on to other people that and don't want to make do these it mistakes. Ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Definitely don't want to do that, but uh, you know, it's it's Christmas, so you know we're about a week away from actual Christmas, so we want to make this Christmas edition because if we waited till next week, it'd be over Christmas. So at that point, I want to talk to you about all these good things that come with Christmas or the holidays. Now, last week I think we talked about getting in the Christmas or holiday spirit. You know, this time we're going to talk about actual Christmas. And you still got a couple more days, right? So some of the first things is, is really how to get gifts for your loved one, right? Or potentially loved one. Maybe you're dating somebody or whatever it is. Yeah. Where do you go? Where do you get them? What's right? What do you think they're going to like? And what's, you know, what's in boundary and out of bounds, basically? Well, you know what's actually funny, like super funny, is that... Me and John have gotten to a point in our relationship where we, it's, a, it's so weird, we don't like buy Christmas gifts for each other, right? Because A, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't like gifts. Like, no, I, wait, hold on, let me, re, let me rephrase that. I really like gifts, okay? <laughs> <laughs> let me rephrase that before it bounces back on me here in the near future. Um, I like gifts, but I don't like surprises, right? Because listen, I, I, this is gonna sound terrible, but at least I'm, I'm being honest, right? You guys like the honesty? Well, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, here's the thing. John goes out, right? He goes and he wants to get me this beautiful earring set or this beautiful ring or this beautiful, you know, uh, necklace, whatever it might be. Knowing he probably knows my style to some degree or whatever it might be, right? But if I had some input on like, let's just say he had four of them in front of him, right? And let's just say John picked the second best one that I would have probably maybe picked another one, but I obviously still like the one that he picked. Yeah, then I would have wanted what I wanted, you know? I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. So we've at least gotten to that plateau <laughs> in our relationship where like we get to go out and we'll just be like, pick out something you like and be like, you pick that, you pick that. We'll turn around and be like, hey, that's going to be a Christmas gift, okay? And then, by the way, it's also your anniversary gift because our anniversary is in January. <laughs> He's like, hey, listen. He's like, I want to make sure you understand that that's also your anniversary gift. I'm like, all right, let's do it. So on Christmas, it's kind of weird because, like, we don't, op we don't open gifts from each other, but it's, like, normal at this point. You know, yeah. like, if I had a gift from him, I'd be like, what, did you, I mean, what would you even bother? Like, what would you even bother getting? Like, yeah. it just got into that point. But... It's way easier to shop for your significant other when you guys are first dating. And the best thing to do is to listen to what they like. This is true. What they like to this do, right? Don't go off and go buy and stuff and then think you're going to create some new, you know, uh, trend for them right. or something. Hobby or, or hobby like. or like. Yeah. Go buy what they actually like, right? Because it's a present. So yeah. you want to give them something that they, they want they want to use or they want to wear or they would like to wear. If you're not even sure, you always go back to the cool things that, like, you can get at what is that what's that one place that has like all the massage things and like things you sharper can, image yeah like that a cool place like that they always have something cool literally always have something they cool. do they there's do not cool one stuff. time i go in there it's like wow i would get this for john just to get it for john because he would like it you know just but anybody would like a gift from there 100 percent. yeah i mean yeah i think you definitely need to listen to your partner listen to their likes you know maybe what they needed throughout the year or something like that. Socks, you know? underwear. Well, I mean, you know, save that for yeah, your anniversary. Yeah, <laughs> save, save the socks and underwear for later on in life. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna, you've gotten plenty of those as a kid from your grandparents, uh, or as you get older, people pajamas, are gonna get you this stuff, puzzles, right? Like, and you might like it a lot more than when you liked it a kid, because as a kid you wanted toys. But you know, as you get older, your priorities kind of change and your likes kind of change. Like, I, I'd probably get excited if I got like, you know, like a new blender or something like that. Just, <laughs> you know, something crazy, like on the head. Like, 
I, mean, I wouldn't want to be four as a kid, but you know, yeah, listen to them. You know, listen to what their wants or needs are. Like, like I just said, so like if they want to get into a healthier diet the next year, you know, maybe get them a machine that helps them do that. Get like a an air fryer or get them a blender or something like that, and say, hey, listen, now you can start making your own smoothies or whatever it is, right? Um, or they might want to to pick up a new hobby and you kind of get them whatever that thing is like you know or maybe even like buy them a day at the spa that's oh, always nice. a good present right It'd you go nice. to the spa and you get a full day at the spa you get treated like a queen i know my dad used to give me that gift all the time but it's a good gift honestly to yeah. get you your significant other you yeah know? just hey there's a whole day at the spa your prepaid services go enjoy the day and relax and chill out and you know come back in a happy mood yeah i think i think the big thing is, is just having the meaning behind it having a good meaning behind it yeah um it, guys it, just just a word <laughs> of advice okay do not get them a gift card okay anybody can go to walgreens or cvs or Publix and get a gift card for Outback, okay? Yeah. Nobody wants a gift card because there is really no meaning behind it unless there's like something really cool that happened at that place yeah. and you're just like, hey, ha ha, it's a joke kind of thing. Yeah. But not like, hey, you didn't put any thought process in, I just picked it up yesterday and threw it in a card. <laughs> It's real simple, easy to do. <laughs> real simple, real easy. But it might not have a lot of meaning. No either. meaning. You, know? and you definitely want to get this, like, through the years, especially if you stay together, those things that you bought through the years, and you'll have even more meaning and significance, probably to your partner, that you're wearing or utilizing or whatever it may be. You know, and if you don't like it, don't tell them you don't like it, I guess. You Just make see. that face, like, mm. Yeah, and that kind Go of like sucks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, don't do that. You know, but you know, you should be grateful that you're getting anything from your partner. Sure. Um, I think that's the biggest thing, and being grateful just for them being with you. You know, I, I think that's that's the other thing that you know a lot of people they just overlook. You know, that's that's the whole point of being together. The gift portion, I, I think, is is good to a certain extent, but it's, it's not overrated. everything. It's, it's not overrated. everything, right? It's overrated. And I think as we get older we understand that more a lot of people understand that more yeah. some people still want the gifts i mean honestly to be honest with you just don't take this for what it is but i mean i really could probably go like a christmas without a gift just because i feel like i get gifts all year right so like i i, I get whatever i need or want or so it's kind of in that point where i'm just like it's just another day and it's honestly this day is dedicated to our little one right yeah. i'm like oh i just want to see him smile i want to see our parents smile yeah. you know i just want everybody else to be happy and just we're good you yeah. know i'll if you do it like that just make sure you got you're gonna have to put on like a santa outfit or something a hat at least a hat you know if you're tired and you know do something in the bedroom for your husband <laughs> you know I mean, you don't have to go all out if you're really exhausted from christmas and cooked all day or whatever it is you want to come up with you know put on some boots and you put on a little hat and be like hey let's do this that's right miss cloth i'll take it to town <laughs> So, you know, I mean, that's just one portion is the gift portion. The other thing is creating those traditions um, with your family or loved one or whoever it is. You know, starting traditions early. You having Christmas together, you guys maybe waking up in the morning, going down by the tree, and you guys are going to open gifts together or it's, with the family. That's our tradition you every know, year. That's, you know, that, that's the, you know, to me, I think that's the American dream tradition, right? Family members wake up, or I know when I was a kid, I wanted to get up really early on that day, wake my parents up so I could go downstairs and open gifts. Wake up! Right? I know you. <laughs> so you know i mean that's the other thing like creating those traditions maybe creating you know favorite dishes that you guys eat together and stuff like that um you know and doing like christmasy stuff like i said like last week you know getting the spirit of christmas you know doing this and following through on christmas day um especially if you have little ones you know you're you're molding these memories right now so it's really important that you mold those good memories in your kid because they're going to remember this the rest of their lives um, or, you know, to a certain extent, you know, as they get older, they're really going to remember everything that went on during Christmas. So, you know, definitely want to create those traditions, create a good Christmas, good memories. You know, at that point, the other thing is, is take pictures or video. I know you, it's almost like you forget sometimes. Remember back in the day where you can actually like print the photos? I mean, yeah, listen, it's right? good to be, it's good to be in the moment, right? Cause I, I firmly believe this. Like I want to experience the moment <laughs> without having a, a phone in my hand or a camera in my hand. Cause I've done that for a long time every year. But you know what? I don't want to miss out on the memories either. Something that I can look back on five, ten years later and be like, man, this is so cool. You know, I'm going to share with you guys, right? Because this, this is a great, I'm going to just 
give you a great example, okay? So this is where you capture things that you may, like the surprises, things that happen, like right on the moment that you, if you didn't have that up or you didn't have the video camera, whatever it was, you wouldn't have captured it, right? So long time ago, this one Christmas, bu -bu 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 -bu, fast forward, um, we bought Peter a little- uh, Trike. D d uh, like, thingy. Four-wheeler, like- Four-wheeler thingy. Okay? Like a kid one, right? And I was, I was so excited for him to be excited, right? This was the funniest video. In fact, I, oh if I'll God. find it, I'll post it at the end of this show so you guys can see it because it's so funny. <laughs> so anyways, um, we're, we're opening the presents, whatever, he gets on the thing. You know, he's like, oh my God, this thing's so exciting. This is all on video. Thank goodness we captured it. Right? So I'm the one doing the video. And you know, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. He's so excited. He puts on his little helmet and he's like, he gets on top of it like this. And this is in the garage. The garage door is closed. And we have our Hummer at the time that's inside of the garage, right? <sighs> and this little tricycle, four wheeler yeah. thingy, whatever, is facing the Hummer. Okay? Just let me put this out there. So he gets on it, vroom, vroom, vroom. And he's like, vroom, like, you know, pretending. Vroom, vroom. And then all of a sudden he actually did it and it was on. I don't know. <laughs> But literally, he just went full force right into the Hummer, just about the Hummer, and John literally grabbed him right before he hit the Hummer, like smash crash, and um, just barely yanked him back, and I, yeah. I don't think he actually hit it, right? No, I, I got in front of it. My, my <laughs> light was in the, my flash in front of my eyes, and I see this thing, I'm like, oh my God, I had to react so quick to even stop this thing, and it's got power. It wasn't like a weak little <laughs> it was thing. so funny. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, it's so lucky that it happened. It was really, really funny. Definitely got the video. I posted on Facebook. So <laughs> I'll have to definitely look it up. But I'll look it up. That, that's just something like, you know, but we can memory, laugh at, right? right? And we look back on it. It's on video. Yeah. I'm gonna just let's see let's see if there's any hey look you want to see if there's anything else maybe you could use that head the helmet for why, why don't you go in the garage real quick yeah let's see is there let's anything in the, in the garage maybe on the bike <gasps> wow. Look how cool that is! That's a four-wheeler! You like that, Peter? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. So these are things. So capture those memories, man, for, for the oncoming years to go. Especially if you've got family. These things are... You know, they're priceless, I promise you, especially when you start looking back when they get older. Yep. But um, these are just some of the different things that will hopefully make your Christmas or happy holidays even better. So at that point, guys, have a Merry Christmas. Um, we hope you have a happy Merry Christmas and a happy New Year or happy holidays, whatever it is. Uh, we're going to be here with you guys next week too as well and every other Sunday in 2022. So guys, keep it locked to ABC, 11 a.m. every Sunday. If you guys missed this, make sure you DVR it next time. If not, check out YouTube, just type Medical Center and all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. You guys just look up Titan Medical Center. You guys will see our smiling faces and a lot, lot more. <laughs> Plus, all the great things that we can do to help you guys feel better, look better, and perform better daily. So that's it, guys. Christmas edition is over. We'll see you next week to talk about New Year's. Ooh. Later, guys. Bye.